Sounds beautiful right there. The uh, Philharmonic uh, it will be going into its final, uh, fi almost an episode, but final performance, guys. And that was, was that from a holiday show? That was from our Christmas show, yes. Oh, yes. love it, love it. Well, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, the Philharmonic, the show is going to be when? Saturday? Yes, Saturday night, 7.30 at um, Garfield Middle School. And just a little bit of backstory about the Butler uh, Philharmonic. We have been around since 1951. We're the old oldest orchestra in all of Butler County. Uh, we do about five to seven concerts annually. Half are ticketed and half are free yeah. events. I and imagine giving an education of music too. Absolutely. To, you know, especially school kids. Absolutely. So and we do perform in schools yeah. as well as churches and other venues. Well, and there's going to be some special guests uh, this weekend yes, as well. Yes, this, is, this concert really covers the ages. We have a living composer, a piece by a living composer who will be in the audience. That doesn't happen very often. And what is that? It's a piece called Phoenix. And okay. it's, of course, about the, the mythical story of the, the phoenix rising right. from the ashes. Yeah. And like a composer named Dan Pertu, who is a, an Ohio native, and he'll be here to, to hear his work. Uh, we also have some great uh, soloists coming, from uh, one from Chicago, one from West Virginia. Oh, that's great. Uh, and uh, then, of course, we'll, we'll have our Butler Philharmonic Chorus, uh, which is a great staple of our work. Yeah, all, all fairly local folks? Yes, yeah. yes, for the most part. Yeah, and then we close the concert with the mammoth work at Tchaikovsky's Fifth Symphony. Oh, nice. Oh, so you go back to some of the, the classics there, exactly, right? Exactly. Right. Oh, well, and you do what? How many shows a year? Oh goodness, we do about well, I mean, we do these bigger shows, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We, we do about six symphonic series mm -hmm. concerts a year, and then we do pops and educational programming as well. Yeah, how do you how do you pick the the, the music and you know you, you want it to have a theme, I imagine. Oftentimes we want it to have a theme, but but really my philosophy is that I want to know what the solo is first, and then I build a program around it that oh, complements the solo. Okay, so yeah. you, if you see who the, well, who the soloist is or the solo, and then you go. Exactly, and what repertoire that soloist is playing, and then we just we build something around it that complements the, with oh, the rest great. of the repertoire. Oh, no, that's excellent, that's excellent. Uh, and uh, tickets are uh, still available, I imagine. Still available. How much, where can we find them? So, butlerfield.org, uh, we still have tickets available. That's $20 for um, just the average patron, and mm -hmm. then for Butler Philharmonic members or students, it's $16. For anybody under the age of five, it's free. And do you see folks, you know, we mentioned students, you know, who, who, may, who may start, take up an instrument, you know, it might just seem simple in elementary school or whatnot, not take up, and then they turn this into a career or a, a very extensive hobby, and then they join, you know, a Philharmonic. Absolutely. Yeah. We're really proud of, of our outreach into schools with our youth orchestra mm -hmm. and with our youth programming, uh, and I, I feel like you're right. A lot of yeah. students will maybe see a concert and all of a sudden it sparks something. And, and tomorrow, they're musicians in the Philharmonic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So if you know if your kid wanted a piano or you know a violin, you got it for him a couple of years ago, and it's just sitting in the basement. Well just, worth the investment. Just yeah. get it out there and have them start. Sure. Have them start doing it. Well, that instrument can be their ticket to the world. Oh, absolutely, so. absolutely. Travel the world. Sure. Right. Sure. Right. Uh, oh, this is great. Okay, so uh, again, tomorrow, the twentieth. Can't believe it's May twentieth already. Yeah. I know. It's going to be Fourth of July before you know it. <laughs> uh, and when do you guys pick up the new season? We come back in August and okay. September with our outdoor pops concerts. We'll nice. perform in Oxford and again in Hamilton at Pyramid Hill. Sounds great, guys. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate Thank you it so as much. always. Good Thanks to see you again. Us. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have the, a big Bengals game again for, you know, <laughs> yeah. I know you had the big concert uh, last fall when That's we had right. the, what was, what was it, the, was it the champion? It was, a, it was a playoff game. The playoff think, game. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. There you go. No, music to football, right? There you go. <laughs> hey, uh, 15 after 9. Thanks, guys. Let's get over to Ethan.